When performing traction for the client's head and neck using a towel, or in this case, a king-size flannel pillowcase, there's a very nice variation that can be used. If the towel or pillowcase is long enough that we can grasp it with one hand instead of two. But first, to show the typical way we do this, we have the towel underneath the client's neck. I lift up on both sides and I grab just up enough against the skin to have some traction, almost no force at all. I lean back and I seat the towel under their occiput and now I'm ready to perform the stretch by simply leaning my body weight back and tractioning the head and neck. And this is a really nice technique and is actually indicated if the client has a compressed nerve in the cervical region, a space occupying lesion, perhaps a pathologic disc or a bone spur pressing into the intervertebral foramen. We just need to make sure that we do this very slowly, very carefully and gradually over a number of sessions. But now for the variation. If the pillowcase or towel is long enough and I can grasp it with just one hand instead of two hands, then the other hand is free. And I can pull up here, I make sure I don't smash her ears, and I can lean back and pull into traction with my right hand, and now my left hand is free to either stabilize and or push down into depression her left side shoulder girdle trunk, which will increase the traction stretch, especially on that side. Showing for the other side, I grasp the pillowcase with my left hand. I lean my body weight back, create the traction, and now I use my right hand to either stabilize and or push down into depression the right side shoulder girdle. So towel traction is a very nice technique for the client's head and neck, but if we have a towel or pillowcase that's long enough and we can grasp it with one hand, a very nice variation is to use the other free hand to stabilize and or push into depression the client's shoulder girdle or trunk on one side or then the other side of the body.